tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2018 Evil Idol voice acting competition in which you, the listener, get to help decide who wins. I'm Jonathan West, winner of the 2017 Evil Idol competition, and I'll be your host as all of us help decide who will be crowned the next monarch of the macabre. Voting is easy. If you'd like to see tonight's featured contestant move on, simply log into your YouTube account and click the thumbs up icon, or give them a thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will last for one week only, so don't delay. Want to spread the word about Evil Idol and tonight's contestant? Share this video on social media and include the hashtag EvilIdol2018. For myself and the creative team behind Chilling Tales for Dark Nights, good luck to all of our contestants. And thank you, listener, for helping us to coronate this year's Tyrant of Terror. Please welcome to this year's competition contestant number four, Crystal Hall, performing a tale by an anonymous author. Submitted for your approval, we present to you The Last Dance. What a lovely night to dance. My voice seemed to ring out into the night air. The moon held its solo performance in the deep blue curtain. Quite the scene to watch from the marble balcony. In a way, how could one not feel like they were on some sort of stage from here? Like Juliet confessing her love to her darling who was not to be. It was a warm autumn night, the perfect setting for the Gala of Shadows annual masquerade ball. The soothing sound of violins began to play in the distance. The guests have begun to arrive, sir. Shall I attend to the refreshments? A young man, stiffly dressed, hard-heartedly addressed me as he strode up to my perch. This man was not currently wearing his mask for the ball. No, we have others attending to that. Is everything else in order? I could feel my eyebrows arching together. Tonight was to be flawless, like those before it. There had been so much time spent preparing for this day. Yes, there is nothing out of place. Also, here is your mask. He swiftly presented a red mask with small horns at the brow. It was a suitable mask, I suppose. Please, descend on your post until needed. I dismissed him as I waved him away. He bowed quickly, then departed from my sight. I bid the moon farewell as I slipped on my mask. A small pit of anxiety had planted itself as I made my way inside the dining hall. Everything will go as planned. The decor of the chamber had been draped in black cloth and embroidered with golden thread. An elaborate display of a starry night sky above a lush wood was sewn into the tapestry. A large clock with a bright white face stared above the dance floor. The candles were low and gave an appearance of intimacy. In the left section of the room, an orchestra played by carefully placed candelabras. Along the wall, an enchanted spread lay on banquet tables. Gasps were heard from the doorway leading inward. In the center of the floor were elegantly masked individuals. Their garb exquisitely tailored and obviously costly. Exactly the kind of crowd that should attend. My, what a dark affair. One must truly be secure and bold to enact such a decision, said the robust woman wearing a yellow gown and white mask as I glided by. Indeed, that is precisely the thing to anticipate from the Gala of Shadows. Her green-clad husband scoffed as he gave me a nod. You do not wish to miss the big surprise at midnight, I said with a wink. There were plenty more statements that I had heard as I briefly greeted a portion of the guests. 
some wondered if members of the order would make an appearance. Also, how did one become a member? That question was echoed often. There were 100 guests invited to this event. Even a devil would have trouble obtaining and entertaining them all. The harmony weaved its way through the hall as the crowd danced. Flashes of dim color twirled like tops on the floor as I took on a green envy hue. How I longed to dance amongst them. Waiters strolled through the swarm with flutes of wine on golden trays. As expected, the people were enjoying themselves. The performer and the drones were well-configured cogs to the masquerade's machine. What a delightful sight to see. A satisfied smile hung below my mask. Continuously, I traveled around the party and analyzed the guests. My eyes also locked on the clock as well. It was as if we flirted with each other like lovers across the dance floor. I could not have complained how everything was flowing as planned, until I heard the chattering as I waltzed upstairs. This masquerade is much more pleasurable than Lady Edwina's ball. A woman drunkenly rambled on the stairwell. I would agree. The gentlemen laboring on tonight are tremendously handsome and full of youth. Another older lady giggled as her cheeks below her mask began to change to a red hue. Ah, this reception is marvelous, but how does it compare to years prior? A gentleman loudly pondered. Not quite sure. I had not heard word of its festivities. Another man stated the two men began to dig deeper into their conversation. An eruption of questions had spread throughout the party. Why was this event so secretive? Was there anyone who attended prior functions here? Who did the order consist of? Never before had I been so glad to not have my identity known. Imagine if everyone knew that I was the master of ceremonies. All the inquiries that would have come my way had they known I was a member of the shadows. Anxiously, my eyes looked to the clock for comfort. It was nearly time. My close friend Matilda had been invited last year. I had not received word since. Could she have gone on holiday? Usually she would inform me first. Now that I think on it, I do hope she is all right. I will write her a letter the instant I return home. All the babble was beginning to bore me. Without further delay, I brought myself quickly up the steps. The weight of everyone's curiosity chained to me as I climbed every step. I could not wait to tell them what the surprise was at midnight. The staff watched me as I persistently moved on, their faces now masked as well. The raised platform above the clock was to be my destination. At last, the moment had arrived. A loud chiming had rung through the hall. It had silenced all, even the performers in their section. Everyone froze as if awaiting something special. They were not wrong. A lovely night for a dance, am I right? My voice was loud enough to draw their attention to my platform. On behalf of the gala, I would like to thank all of our honorable guests for gracing us with your presence. Small murmurs slithered under my feet as the crowd awaited my newly started speech's end. My words droned on for a moment. I would also like to acknowledge you all for taking such care with your costumes. Give yourself applause. I'm sure the staff would agree when I say, you look absolutely delectable. The attendees started to awkwardly clap on command. Some started to cross their arms impatiently. I would like to say this year's festival has greatly succeeded last year's. There are more guests here, that is for sure. I could feel there was no need for pleasantries now, as some would like to know. Last year's event was a hunt. This event is actually a feast. A feast for those of the night. The audience waited for a joke. 
their bottom halves of their faces filled with confusion. A feast? Some question each other. Others shrugged their shoulders. I hope you enjoyed your merrymaking. It was your last. Like last year, you guests will be food. That is why you did not hear from your friends again. I looked to the workers. Hunger was carved into their faces. Fangs and several sharp sets of teeth jutted out of their mouths. Some decided to shed their human forms altogether. Claws raised themselves to greet their prey. Their eyes darted from guest to guest. A shriek could be heard from the back of the room. It's been said that fear added to the flavor. And now, let the feasting begin. My voice pierced the silence as doors slammed about the room. Chains wrapped around the doorknobs. People ran in every direction. Screams bounced off the walls as figures began tearing at targets. Blood began to smear the drapes and floor. Music had begun to play again to overpower the echoes. As I watched the horror continue, a smile crept over my face. The music played, and I could not help myself. I danced. Thanks for listening. I'm Jonathan West, reminding you, if you haven't already, to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down. Voting is easy. Simply log into your YouTube account and click the thumbs up icon if you'd like to see the contestant move on. Or give them a thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Want to spread the word about Evil Idol and tonight's contestant? Don't forget to spread the word by sharing tonight's entry on social media and include the hashtag EvilIdol2018. You've been listening to Chilling Tales for Dark Nights in the 2018 Evil Idol voice acting competition. I'm your host, 2017 winner Jonathan West, inviting you to return every weekday for a new entry from our amazing contestants. Until then, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights. 